What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Easy Breezy. Welcome to Beauty Mastermind Mondays. So in this video, I'm going to be elaborating on how I'm able to get paid promoting other people's hair. All right, so number one, I'm going to say the thing that put me on the map and even in the eyes of these sponsors is content, all right? My content has to be consistent, has to be good quality, and it has to bring value, all right? If my content wasn't doing these things, sponsors would not even be looking out for me, all right? So the first time I got a offer from a hair company to promote their products was about, I think it was like four years ago, like four or five years ago, no, not four years ago. And that's when I first started to, you know, kind of be consistent with my YouTube channel, but I really wasn't consistent. I was probably, actually I wasn't consistent at all. <laughs> I would probably post like, seven videos in a month and then like another seven the next month and I really wasn't consistent at all but when I had I had this video right and it reached a million views so it attracted a lot of hair companies to I guess kind of scalp my page a little bit and one company they were like you know we like your channel we want to send you some hair and i was so excited i was like oh my god i get free hair and they stopped following up with me and i think that was because i wasn't posting you know they were probably looking at my channel and thinking that i was consistent but i wasn't <laughs> so they would stop following up with me and then it happened again. Another hair company reached out to me and I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, this is like my dream to get paid to do my own hair. And they stopped following up with me. And I know why, I, I know exactly why. It's because I wasn't consistent with my content. So, okay, years later in 2018, when I finally decided to take my YouTube channel serious, I was, taking my ring light to my salon every single day and I was just recording clients. Any client that would give me permission to record, I would record them. Record the process, do voiceovers, upload videos, easy. I'd have to pay for ambassadors, I'd have to pay for models. I was getting paid at the same time because those are my regular clients. So it was like a win-win situation. So after like four or five months of me just putting out those videos over and over and over, I started to get inquiries again, right? So I started to get hair sponsors or hair companies in my email, you know, asking me to send me hair again. So this time I was a real YouTuber. Like I wasn't like a here and there YouTuber, here one day, gone the next. I was actually posting at least like three, four days a week. So, these sponsors have full faith in me, you know? So at first I wasn't charging anything because I was just so grateful just to be getting hair, period. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? Let me stop because girls are getting paid for this. So I told myself, you know what? I'm gonna start charging 150 for a video. And even that was just overwhelming because I could never see a day where I was getting paid to do my own hair. Like, I was just grateful. Like, I was just beyond grateful. So, um, after 150, I up my price to 200, then 250, then 300, then 350, and I just kept going up. And like, the, the higher my subscriber count got and the better quality my videos were, you know, the more I increase my value because that's what I'm supposed to do, <laughs> you know? So one thing that, that I will say is any girl in the beauty industry, um, if you're trying to either go the straight YouTube route, 
or if you just want more avenues of income, your number one friend is going to be creating content. So that's going to work, not just to make money, because you don't wanna to continue to be in this rat race of going to your job, making money, leaving, spending it, and then you have to go to work to make more. You wanna to go to work for another intent. Not just to make money, but you wanna to go to work to build content so you can start to build a foundation for yourself and your brand, all right? Make a YouTube channel and start posting your clients. Even better, start doing voiceovers so you can explain to people what you're doing. You know, that interaction is so much more personal on YouTube than it is on Instagram. I mean, unless you're, you know, um, doing videos on Instagram. But for me, you know, my interaction is so much stronger on YouTube and I was able to build a fan base a lot quicker and I'm able to sell a lot more products on YouTube. So yes, if you're, whatever you're trying to tap into, if you're trying to tap into getting sponsored for clothes, sponsored for makeup, sponsored for hair, make sure you create that type of content. If you wanna get sponsored with clothing, make sure you are a fashionista on YouTube. Make sure you're always doing clothing hauls. Make sure you're always, you know, reaching out to companies, asking, you know, if you send me some stuff, I'll do a video for you. You know, do it for free at first. But then when they see that, you know, your content is quality, when you're actually selling things off their site, then they're going to start wanting to pay you to do these videos, right? So, if you are if you want to get sponsored for from hair companies make sure you are the hair guru make sure you're always creating hair content make sure your your channel is educational and it provides value so these companies can look at your channel and go hmm you know she could probably sell some of my products let me ask her how much she charges right same with makeup. If you want to get sponsored with makeup, make sure your content is based around makeup and make sure that you're someone that adds value to people's lives and you can teach people how to use these products. So companies can start, uh, so, so companies can start scouting you out, all right? So, you know, I didn't necessarily have a goal to get sponsored by hair companies. I just, I really wanted to do content just to create more traffic to my pages so I can sell more products. But the sponsors was, it was like a cherry on top and it allowed me to make enough money to where I didn't have to go to the shop anymore. So not only did I have the ability to completely quit my job and stop doing hair and do YouTube full time, but now I have consistent flow of sponsors, you know, paying me to promote their products and I can promote my own hair products in the same videos at the same time. So I'm getting paid for the sponsors, I'm getting paid for my own products that I'm using in the videos and I'm getting paid for views, all right? So once again, you guys, um, what whatever you, want to achieve whatever industry you want to tap into whatever you want to just do you have to start doing now even if you have to do it for free i was doing youtube for years before i got paid for it i was doing these hair videos for almost a, a year straight before i got you know um no no i i guess half a year half a year straight before i even got an offer for a hair sponsor in, in 2018. Back then, I blew it. I fumbled the bag. <laughs> I blew it because I wasn't consistent. But once you start being consistent with your content and once you um, kind of give a message to the universe what you want to attract, it's gonna come, all right? So, hey. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video and watching my channel. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be very useful for you. And if you have anyone that you think will value this video, make sure you share it, all right? So listen, anyone can get sponsored, all right?
anyone can get sponsored whatever you choose to get sponsored by you can do it you just have to create the content so those companies can see you all right don't give up be consistent be relentless with your channel because youtube listen the competition is getting high and it's the the market is getting full all right so make sure your videos stand out make sure you're consistent and go for what you want because trust me those companies are going to see you all right so once again thank you for watching and i will see y'all later